Hello, hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Inside Out Electronic Channel. This is Uncle Misha, and today we have some probes on the bench. So, this is from Amazon. I will tell you straight away. And by judging by packaging, by dinky packaging, you probably understand that this is something super cheap. The problem is, the probes I have is this sharp. So they are not really sharp. So I was looking for sharp probes, like, you know, to probe around the SMD, tiny SMD components. But when I saw the probes I really want to, to get, it's a Fluke probes, they were over $100. This cost 10. Uh, all together, all 10, not just a pair of probes. So I decided to give it a shot and take a look what the heck is this. And if it's shit, it goes back. If it's okay, it's or good enough it uh, gonna stay at least for something not critical because I hardly believe this max 1000 volt cat 3 rating these are claim tools I'm using and I think they are good enough probes and I at, le at least at least I can trust them they they are like an at least somewhat known brand um, it still says cat 3000 volt I'm not sure I'm not sure if you can trust them I never actually use uh, these on anything more than a mains voltage here in North America 110 volts or maybe maybe I was poking around SM um, switch mode power supply and it was probably 180 volts or something to this extent that's pretty much it so I'm not gonna poke around with high voltages but nevertheless still important to understand that uh, what is the limit of these guys I don't obviously have any tools so I'm probably never gonna use high voltage on these and no, no tools to actually refine them uh, so what do we have here we have for some reason, two pairs of probes and two of these kind of thingies, uh, shrouds with alligator clip, which are very, very, very hard and barely open. Look at this, look at this difference with this. Uh, what kind of difference um, uh, using uh, these clean tools? Still probably, they're still quite dinky, but they still were, you see, I don't know what happened to it, it's kind of crooked, but still, feels so much better, and um, here they are threaded, and this is, I don't even know, some kind of, I don't know if it's really hard to see, but some kind of squeezed by pliers, little opening, yeah, so, yeah, it's, I'm probably gonna go straight away into the garbage. Okay, let's open the first ones. Actually, huh, cable is not so bad, again, if you compare with this cable, it has all sorts of listings and um, UL listing and uh, at least indication of some sort of uh, information of what kind of cable is this. These guys have nothing, so you have no bloody idea what kind of um what, what kind of wires are these 18 a um, avg awdg or whatever or maybe like 22 right all right shrouded banana plugs let's take multimeter here and just try them on yeah they actually go on quite well well obviously i don't have a um so you're gonna use the ohms range here. I don't have milli or like very low uh, resistance possi me me possibility to measure very low resistance, but uh -huh, I see. So uh, those are just regular probes. They obviously not gold plated or anything like that. They still have a contact and the resistance is looks like oh sorry I'm gonna shut it down. Zero point that's not too bad. Less than ohm. Let me so I do have actually flukes. These are real deal, I think. 
aren't they? Or this is some kind of fake as well. It doesn't say fluke on them. Ah, it's probably another job. But at least they are gold plated, right? I'm not sure if these are fluke. Huh. I got them with the other my fluke multimeter, but this looks like a yeah. It looks like dinky stuff as well, so never mind. Never mind. These are not fluke. But the, the wires are good here, so forget about this. Oh, let's just for comparison measure the resistance of this guy. A little bit lower. Okay. And now for comparison, measure the resistance of these guys. So these are client client tools. Okay. So this is um, cle clearly these guys from Amazon have quite a bit of a resistance here. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Another possibility would be to understand what's in there is to cut them open, but yeah, I didn't decide that if I'm gonna return them or not. Let's uh, keep them around for now at least. Alright, so we have another pair here. Looks like these gonna be the sharp ones. Okay, this is looking a little bit better because at least they look like uh, gold plated. Okay, let's connect them. I don't know why they have different angle of these guys. You see, they are not straight, they are angled. Okay. X, they are pretty sharp, I must say. Mm. Let me zoom in. So here we are. Here are they zoomed in. I think they are decently sharp. Yeah, oh, just poke myself. Yeah, that, that would clearly work. So this, this is actually good enough. Again, let's check the resistance. Okay, this is so much better. Oops, <laughs> you don't see that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, so this is so much better. Is this, oh yeah, that's actually gonna work for me. I'm surprised. So let's check this dinky stuff. How they, is it gonna just work like this? Is it gonna just, yeah, they just... Yeah, so crappy. Okay, so obviously there is a lot of contact resistance here. It's still not too bad. Okay, it still works. Works like shit, but works. Okay, fine. I guess this is not the worst props than I thought. So for $10 plus Canadian, like 20 amps. Okay, this one are 10 amps. These guys are 20 amps. You're gonna be kidding me. If you poke around somewhere and it's gonna 20 amps passing through, this is gonna melt. I'm pretty sure it's gonna melt. These guys are actually. Take a look at this. Oh. Holy smokes. Now I understand what's going on here. Shit. I thought this looks like these are identical. Oh my god. So these probes I got with the fluke I purchased and I fixed. Here's the video. So it has issue with diode block and some other things I replaced. The, the, so yeah, please check this video if I see if you see how to repair similar fluke multimeter with a amp wrench blown up because some idiot decided to use a piece of wire instead of a, a fuse. Anyways, so someone got these dinky uh, props as well, but what they done? They I just cut off these sharp ones. I thought they are melted off because, you know, someone shorted something while they had a um, shorted fuse inside the multimeter and it all got blown up. Actually, it could have blown up. I don't know. 
Maybe they did melt it actually. They did. Anyway, it's really hard to say what's happened here, but they are identical. So these cheapo probes, they are identical. And these two were like that before. Oh wow. Well, Amazon, you helped me to reveal the piece of history about my probes. So these probes, I think, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. So yes, I'm gonna use them. The chintziest part here is this. All right, is this the most chintziest part here? It's oh, it's like it's even rubber. Like rubber is oh, it's I don't know. It's hard. It feels like more like a plastic rather than it's this crocodile like alligator clips. They they are so stiff. You have to have your good hard uh, uh, how to say strong fingers in order to like oh. These props are okay. I do have like a uh, another multimeter which is probably gonna it needs some repairs it's half working half not I keep it like uh, upstairs or in garage just like go to multimeter so that multimeter I would probably swap out uh, these props and put them there because though actually what's with that multimeter is a very nice fluke probes which I got I don't even know where from maybe they came with this multimeter actually yeah maybe I got them from from um, because this is my first fluke multimeter yeah this is actually my first multimeter and um, fluke multimeter because I had mastercraft multimeter when I accidentally keep, kept it in ohms range or something to the extent and measured the voltage uh, no sorry I don't remember what did I, did I do Anyway, so essentially blown it up, blown blown them that multimeter. Maybe we will somehow someday we'll take a look at that one. Maybe we can, we can fix it and or at least analyze the problem. So this is my first fluke multimeter, and it came I think with that with those very old fluke probes. Yeah, they are a little bit beat up, but they are still working quite well. And this claim I have two pairs of these clean tools probes. They might actually day to day go to probes, except they are a little bit dull. Like not dull, they are pretty. No, they are not sharp at all. So poke around SMD components almost impossible. All right, so probably those two save the day because they are relatively decent. Rubber here, oh. It's PVC, 105 degrees rated and 100 volt rated. So this wire has no marking what's whatsoever. But honestly, that's eh, okay. This feels essentially the same. How about this guy? Yeah, it's same, exactly the same. What? Like who? Who? Who the heck care about OD in the wires? What I care. OD. I care about OD. Like, who cares about OD? Please tell me what is the um, uh, the the thickness of the wire. Like, who, who the heck cares about it? I can just measure it. Like, no big deal. Take a take a calipers and measure it. Oh, so lame. This guy's here the same, yeah. OD 3.5 millimeters. Who the fuck care about that? What I care about. A, a AWG or AVG of the wires in the inside. How good is the wire? How thick is the wire? But anyways, yeah, this is retarded. All right. Nevertheless, they seems to be quite sharp. They are not pogo, so they are not gonna, you know, go in when you press. So which, which is okay. So you have to just, you know, load them uh, on with your fingers. You know, just good enough. Not press too much, or you can poke something. Yeah, but as as far as sharp um, multimeter probes goes, they are okay. I'm not sure if you're gonna. They not gonna work. I'm I'm pretty sure not gonna work in critical operator, critical uh, range like thousand volt, 20, 20 amp. Like, can you imagine how much energy is that? It's ridiculous. Yeah. So thousand volt max, my ass, of course. Yeah, I would never actually trust more than mains voltage with this guy. And with any of this, maybe except these and genuine fluke probes. So I think I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, it's all my opinion. I hope you're not gonna uh, be too upset if you like these probes that I kind of uh, trashing them. These are still relatively okay. And if ten dollars I paid for them, I think that's okay. If you are interested in similar probes on Amazon, I'm gonna share the link. But never. Uh, I think it's important for people to actually 
actually share the cheapo stuff you buy on Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, blah, 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 just to understand if they are half decent or not. You know, just for the reference, for, the, for other people, to, for them to understand. Thank you for watching. Guys, I hope that was useful and please uh, stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment and stay safe and ciao.